everyone. Uh, back with Genesis chapter 12, it talks about the call of Abram, or, or Abraham, as, as we know him today. It says, uh, chapter, 12, chapter 12 of Genesis says, uh, Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to land I will show you. I will make you gr um, I will make of you a great nation, that being Israel, of course. I will bless you and make you make your name great, so that you will be a blessing, and I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with went with him. Now what God is saying is, um, Abraham, those who attack you, I will bless. Those who come against you, I will, I will curse. It says, um, Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran, and Abram took Sarah his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their possessions that, that they had gathered, and the people that they had acquired in Haran, and they set out to go to the land of Canaan, which is Israel today. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land to the place of Sh at Shechem to the, to the oak of Moreh. At that time the Canaanites were in the, were in the land. Um, the Canaanites were of course the pagans that lived there at the time before um, Abraham, or before of course Israel came into the land. So Can the Canaanites were of course the pagans or the Satanists pretty much that were in the land before Israel came in to, to destroy them and take over, the, take over the land that God gave them. So then, then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land to Israel, of course. So there, there is pretty much that stone, I mean, that's, that's concrete proof pretty much, you know, that, that, uh, that Israel belongs to the Jews, not to the, not to the Muslims. So because God gave the land to the Jews, to Israel. So then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So I'm, talk, so I'm talking to the Jews, of course. So he built there an altar to the Lord, who had appeared to him. From there he moved to the hill country on the east of Bethel, and he pitched his tent with Bethel on the, on the west and Ai on the east. And there he built an, an altar to the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed, all and still going towards the Negev, which is southern Israel today. Abram and Sarah in Egypt. Now there was a famine in the land, so Abram went down to Egypt to, to sojourn there, uh, basically to live there, for the famine was severe in the land of Israel. When he, was about to, when he was about to enter Egypt, he said to Sarah, his wife, I know that you are a woman beautiful in appearance, and when the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is his wife. Then they will kill me, but they will let you live. Say, say you are my sister. That may, go well with me. that may go well with me because of you, and that my life will be spared for your sake. When Abram entered Egypt, the Egyptians saw that the woman was very beautiful. And when the princes of Pharaoh saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh. And the women was taken to Pharaoh's house. And for, the, and for her sake, he dealt well with Abram. And he had sheep, oxen, male donkeys, male servants, female servants, female donkeys, and camels. But the Lord afflicted Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarah, Abram's wife. So Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did, why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister so that I took her for my wife? Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. And Pharaoh gave men orders concerning him, and they sent him away with his wife and all that he had. Also, they have um, they have uh, two maps down here. I was going to show you real quick. It talks about the city of Ur, which is in Iraq today. It says, The ancient city of Ur lies about 186 miles southeast of, of modern-day Baghdad on a bend of, of the original course of the Euphrates River. Major excavations took place at the site in 1922-1934 under the direction of Sir Leonard Woolley. Ur became an, became an important city in uh, Mesopotamia, which is Iraq today, near the end of the 3rd millennium BC. The governor of Ur, a man named Ur Namu, who lived, to, who lived from 2113 to 2095 BC, brought the city to great prominence. He took the title of King of Ur, King of Samar, and, and Akdad, Thus was founded the third dynasty of Ur from 2113 and 2006 BC. This period was one of great peace and prosperity, the high point of the city's existence. This diagram of the city represents the third dynasty of Ur, and it includes a central palace and a temple complex. The latter has has added uh, since the latter has as its center the ziggurat of Ur Namu. Of course, the ziggurat goes to goes back uh, before this. 
if you remember, the, the Ziggurat was pretty much the, 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 the temple, um, I mean, the, t the tower, um, what was it called? The, yeah, the Tower of the Bell. Uh, that was that was what it, is what it looked like. If you look at the ziggurat, uh, if you go and just Google ziggurat, uh, that's what the that's what the tower of the bell looked like. And also it had a they had a ziggurat or a tower here in Ur. That's what that's what you know it's talking about. It says um this is the ziggurat or this temple was dedicated to the moon god Nana. Now of course um in the Old Testament. When you study um, about the about the little G God, uh, it's talking about the devil. Of course, when it says God's plural form, G O D S, it's talking about the demons. Of course, we we learn this. If you study the Old Testament. Whenever Satan was kicked out of heaven, along with his third of his angels, the demons, when they fell from heaven, when they whenever they tried to attack God, God sent them God sent them down to earth, and they created all these false religions, these false and you know, doctrines of uh, these false teachings, and of course, false teachers, false prophets are, all, are um, also from Satan. Um, false churches, false denominations, all this false stuff is from Satan, not from God. Um, so whenever they, whenever Satan and demons fell from fell from heaven to earth, whenever whenever they when, whenever they were kicked out of heaven, um, they made all like I said, they made all those false things, and and they did, and they demanded to be worshipped. Um, and whenever you whenever you study the Old Testament. Whenever it says when it says God of the Lord G is talking about Satan, when it says God's plural the G O D S is talking about the demons, and when it says the big G God who is the true God Jesus Christ, of course that's the true God. So yes, yeah, so basically, um, what was getting at is um, basically Allah in Islam is really Satan. Of course, you got gods uh, in Hinduism plural form, which is uh, pretty much the demons. Um, I'm trying to think of all the religions. Of course, like I said, Allah is really Satan. The gods of Hinduism is, are demons. Um, Confucius, Buddhist, that's all also part of uh, satanic influences. Also, you have cults out there. It's all of Satan. So basically, if you're not worshiping once you're God, Jesus Christ, you're really worshiping Satan and his demons, and you don't realize it. You know, And that's pretty much calling out the Muslims out there, the Hindus out there, the Buddhists, the Confucius, all these cult people. You're worshiping the devil and his demons. You're not worshiping once you God Jesus Christ. So repent of your sins. Come across your salvation before it's too late. Because because we're never promised tomorrow. So I say repent of your sins, come across your salvation. He will save you if you call upon his name. Anyway, um getting back getting better to this. It says, um the moon god Nana, who's really the devil, the Satan. Ur was the birthplace of the Hebrew patriarch Abraham, and the plan below represents a seed that he would have been familiar with. And of course the city here, Ur, which is in Iraq today, you have a you have a gate, you hit the Euphrates the Euphrates River, the North Harbor, the Court of Nana, or the Court of Satan, Enoma, Ziggurat, um, or the Temple of Satan in here here in Ur, which is the, which is a their god, Nana, or really the devil. Gibaru, you have a Eharska, you have all these little things, Neo, Sumerian you have residential areas showing houses and streets, the West Harbor, the Euphrates River. So um, this is measured about 500 feet. So this is the uh, the city of Ur at the time of Abraham. That's what it looked like. It's in Iraq today. So that's what the city of Ur looked like. And then you have another now. It says Abram travels to Canaan. 20, this is 2091 to 1925 B.C. Abram was born in Ur, a powerful city in southern Bab southern Babylonia, or southern Iraq today. Abram's father, Terah, eventually led the family towards the land of Canaan, which is Israel, of course, but decided to settle in Haran, um, which is in here in Genesis 11. After Terah's death, the Lord called Abram, or Abram to go to the land that I will show you, which is Canaan, which is Israel today, which he promised uh, to give to Abram's descendants, here in Genesis chapter 11. Of course, um... You have a map here, you have Air, right, which is Turkey. Um, uh, yeah, Air, of course, now Air at today, which is in Turkey. Hidiyas, well, that's Turkey. You have Assyria, which is northern Iraq. Um, Babylonia is, of course, southern central Iraq. Elam, which is, of course, Iran. Mari is, of course, um, 
over in Iraq today, Egypt, yeah, the Caspian Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, um, Tigris River, uh, Neonov, um, Susa, Babylon, Ur, uh, Euphrates River, um, Haran, Aleppo, which is, a, which is in Syria today. Of course, you hear a lot about Aleppo, uh, especially in the Civil War that's going on in Syria right now. Damascus, Shechem, Damascus, of course, uh, that's also Syria, which we know Shechem, Hebron's in the West Bank, you have the Arabian Desert, Duma. This is measured about 300 miles. So um, it says Terah, Abraham traveled to, to Haran, did travel from Ur, Egypt, all the way to, uh, to Haran, which is on the Syria-Turkey border today. So that's a long travel. Then Abraham travels to Canaan. So Abra Abraham traveled from basically the Syria-Turkey border all the way down to Israel. So that's a long, it's a long travel as well. And um, basically that's what that map looks like right there. But you can see that that's, how, that's, that, that's where they traveled from. Was basically, if you look at that, is from pretty much to the from the Iran Iraq border all the way over to Israel today, or actually over to um, Israel the Israel Egyptian border. That's a long, it's a long travel that they that they uh, walked. See, back then these people didn't have cars or anything. Of course, they, had, they traveled by foot, by camel, by donkeys. That's how they traveled. So, of course, this was a long, long. Uh, um, um, travel, and like I said, from like basically from the Iran Iraqi border all the way over to uh, pretty much where Egypt's at today, the Israeli Egypt, Egypt border. Of course, that's, that's a long, long uh, walk. Um, anyway, that's this is chapter 12, and I will be back with uh, chapter 13. It talks about Abram and Lot separate. So, anyway, I'll be right back.